ESPN and the Professional Bowlers Association present the championship round finals of the Northwest Classic live from Celebrity Bowl located in Kennewick, Washington. In his last appearance on ESPN, Dave Husted captured the Brunswick Memorial World Open. His opponent in tonight's opening match, 32-year-old Bob Spaulding of Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania, who is shooting for his first PBA title. After finishing fifth here a year ago, Dave Arnold of Gilbert, Arizona, will start from the middle of the stack. Meanwhile, the 1991 ABC Masters champion, Doug Kent, has nailed down the runner-up position. And after 42 games this week, the 1993 PBA Player of the Year, Walter Ray Williams Jr., looks to win back-to-back -back here at Celebrity Bowl. And an aerial view of the Tri-Cities, Pasco, Richland, and also Kennewick. Bordered by the Columbia River, the Tri-Cities is one of the fastest growing areas in the country. Welcome to Celebrity Bowl, located in Kennewick, Washington. Hi, everybody. I'm Denny Schreiner, along with PBA Hall of Famer Mike Durbin. Year number nine for you and I. We've got nine PBA tour stops on the summer tour here on ESPN. And we're going to start to talk about a guy where we left off in the fall with, of course, uh, Walter Ray Williams Jr. on a tear. One here a year ago, and now he's the top seed tonight. And he had an unbelievable year last year when he won seven times. He made over $296,000. He won this tournament last year. He's the leader so far this year. And at this tournament last year, he started a streak where he won five of nine events that he entered. Uh, he's really unbelievable. What's interesting to me, Denny, is that he told me earlier that he's a five-time national horseshoe champion, and he gets more nervous for horseshoes than he does bowling. I guess he shows up. That's why he does so well. Well, he's relaxed and does nothing but throw strikes. A lot of experience on the top and on the bottom of the stack here this evening. Dave Husted, an eight-time champion, now a part-time player. He'll start from the number five position. And as you said, he's won eight times. He won his last event on ESPN when he won the Brunswick Memorial uh, Open right here on ESPN. He's looking for two in a row. He's one of the good guys on tour. He's uh, won the Steve Nagy Sportsmanship Award a couple of times. And three players right in the middle of the stack here this evening that would dearly love to win a PBA championship. Three quality players. Three very quality players. In the opening match, Bob Sp Balding, very strong physical player, throws that big hook. He's looking for his first PBA victory. He's looking for his first victory on television. In the number three slot, we've got Dave Arnold, who won over $100,000 last year, won his first tournament last year, been a little off so far this year, Dan. And in the number two spot, we have Doug Kent, who has won an ABC Masters Championship, but still looking for that first PBA victory. All right, sit back and relax. We're ready for the start of match number one here from Celebrity Bowl, featuring Bob Spaulding and veteran Dave Houston. They're revved up here at Celebrity Bowl. Outstanding pro-am. Tremendous turnout. And now we're ready for the opening shot. Over 1,300 in the pro-am here. Uh, Denny, uh, really tremendous. That's a big number of pro-am entries. Dave Houston starts with a strike. Winked at me during the practice session and said he felt like he had a pretty good shot. And it's interesting, Dan, uh, the, all the players are playing a lot of different angles. Dave is playing in the track. Bob Spaulding and Doug Kent are playing deep inside. And Dave Arnold and Walter Ray are playing right of the first arrow. Spaulding, the consummate power player. Powerfully built. Gets a handful with almost every shot and ends up with a two pin on lane 30. He's a power player and a big, strong man, but he has that effortless release. You notice there, it's not like he snaps it through. It's kind of a smooth stroke. Four trips to the championship round. Still looking for that elusive first title. And the first victory. He's had trouble on television. I asked him earlier if he was going to have a different game plan. And at least he's making the sparrow right away. He says, I got to come out and throw strikes early. It's interesting because last year, PBA had adopted a program where 15 minutes prior to the telecast, they would clean the last 15 feet of the lane. Uh, both lanes in the championship round, and he felt like sometimes that made his ball overreact in, in the opening match. Well, they've stopped that policy for whatever reason uh, that they deemed uh, advisable, and uh, we'll see if it does help him. Just from a confidence standpoint, you think it probably would. And he comes up with a beautiful shot on lane 29. He's up against a veteran, though, here. Dave Houston, I can remember uh, seeing him for the first time at the uh, PBA National in Reno way back in, uh, what, about 1978 or somewhere back there. It was 78. That was my first year in the PBA press room. 
Just a young strapping right hander back then. Now he's a part time pro wants to spend more time at home with his family running his father's bowling centers and uh, hey he's paid his dues out there in 16 years on the tour. Dave the five step player has this tremendously high backswing you see up here. He's in the power step ready to come right through and drive through in perfect time there. Look at the finish here. Nice in balance all the way through and the result was positive. Three in a row. He's ready. Another aggressive shot for a pumped up Dave Houston. 34 years of age and he still is uh, limber to get that backswing up over his head. Huh? Well, we don't want to say too much about it, but back in the old days in 78, it was about a foot higher than it is right now. So age is catching up with him just a little bit. Oh, tough break for Spalding. Excellent shot on the right hand leg. And nothing but negative thoughts are going through the mind right now. I mean, his opponent starts with the turkey. He can't win a game on television. Finally, he gets ready to get a double in the first three frames or so, and he leaves a solid seven. Interesting you mentioned that because when I had a chance to talk with Bob, he said that every time he, he goes out to play his opponent just jumps all over him and that's exactly what's happened in this one. So a spare up for Spalding but he trails now by 20 in the early stages and don't forget World Cup soccer coming up on ESPN live at 1225. Another big game. Doubleheader Belgium and Saudi Arabia in game number two. Different ball here, not a soccer ball, but a bowling ball. Both of my sons played soccer. Mm. So they're watching intently, oh, more than yeah. likely. Same hit, seven pin goes down. <clears throat> All right, we'll be back with more of the opening match here from Kennewick, Washington. Dave Houston in the lead. Just one more strike for a 300 game. For the inside track on your favorite bowler, become part of the PBA Fan Club. All Fan Club members receive the PBA Media Guide and show programs along with your official membership card. Also, for a limited time only, this Millionaire's Club poster is included. So don't wait, call today. Call 1-800-299-4PBA for your membership in the PBA Fan Club. <laughs> 